Alex and Harry, we're, we're down at the British Military Fitness HQ down in Chiswick. Uh, thanks for taking some time to sit and chat with us. Uh, we obviously wanted to talk about the new race series, the Royal British Legion Major Series, um, but also just get more background to British Military Fitness. I mean, it's something I've known for a long time. I kind of, I'm old enough to remember when it first started, and it's going from strength to strength. And I do see lots of people out training in parts quite regularly when on my runs. So I thought a good place to start was to actually chat to you, Harry. And I know you were involved with setting up British Military Fitness, and then you've been off serving, I believe, in, in the Army? Yes, yeah. So I mean, we basically, uh, VMF was, we came up with the idea on the film set of Saving Private Ryan. Uh, we pulled all our resources together, which was a whole £3,000, and we stood in Hyde Park with some uh, bedrolls, and then took it from there. Now we're across the country in 135 venues from Perth and Plymouth and everywhere in between. And yeah, it's fantastic. You know, it's, I'm, I'm thrilled to be part of it. And I'm certainly thrilled to be back involved and be managing director of it. Um, and you're right, I did. I served in Iraq and Afghanistan and, you know, just did instant dual instructing and stuff. And it was just brilliant. And I love being part of British Military Fitness. And, and actually really, really thrilled to have the Royal British Legion, and I actually will go into it more, you know, being partnered up with them in such a great way as with our our money run our major series and you know that's really exciting and uh yeah so i'm really proud and really pleased to be part of it so putting you on the spot a little bit in terms of obviously you left and came back i mean how does it look now you've got is it 400 events each weekend yeah we run we have about well we've got 135 venues we have about run about 400 events or classes um per week across those venues um you know sort of Hyde park we have lots of classes and and around the country we do that and it's very much, you know, people say, oh, you know, we don't like shouting. We don't shout for people. We, you know, we don't, don't even shout that much in the, in the proper arm. It's all about encouragement. You know, we're not American. This is why we don't have the word boot camp in our title. It was a conscious decision when we started this company. And it's all about encouraging. The toughest thing, the hardest part of British Mitch Fitness, is actually getting yourself to the class. Once you're there, we'll do everything for you. Whereas if you go to a gym, you have to motivate yourself continually throughout what you decide to do. Whereas you literally get yourself off the sofa, get yourself to British Mitch Fitness, and I promise you we'll do the rest. And, and it's all about being fully inclusive. And you know, we don't want mega whippets. You know, it's all types of shapes and sizes from the mega fit to the total beginners and everybody in between. And it's about having fun, challenging yourself. And you know, that's very much what we set the major series as part of, um, is that very much inclusive enough. You know, we're not the world's toughest fitness class because why would we want to be? You know, we're here to set you on your journey, and that's exactly, and it's the camaraderie and the team spirit of those people you meet as part of that class that help you through that journey. And uh, yeah, so, and I love it, and I totally believe in it. So the, the, um, the classes themselves, I know they're obviously they're run by trained military, um, but I believe there's not a program that's set that everyone has to follow. The, the classes are actually put together bearing on who's actually there at the class at that time. And yeah, we have um, three grades of, um, so we have blue bibs for your beginners, your trialists. Um, you have red for intermediate when you're getting a bit better. And then those guys who want a little bit, and girls, which are some seriously quite fit girls in there, they have green bibs and they expect a bit of a harder class. So we'll split the groups down and then the exercises will be as per their bib group that they do. We train the instructors up, all the instructors are fully trained, um, and, but we leave it to their knowledge. We don't give them a blueprint, or, we have a blueprint of what classes to do, and it's up to their imagination and, you know, and their sort of inventiveness to make the classes as fun and as rewarding as they possibly can. And you know, in some of the classes can be, well, all the classes can be just a lot of fun and, and bonkers. And at the end of the day, you should come back having had a good workout for maybe 40 minutes, you have a 10 minute warm up, 10 minute warm down and think, yeah, actually that's a laugh. And then you can go to the pub afterwards and have a pint. You know, that's what it's all about. It's just being fit so you can enjoy life. And, and obviously people training for all types of things. I mean, marathons, obstacle course racing, which we're talking about, and triathlons. I mean, and Yeah, we do, we do a lot of stuff with, you know, as I say, we do train the beginners and they are probably 75% of our clientele. But we also do sort of the top end athletes as well. So you do have your David Hellards of this world and other sort of well-known um, sort of in the industry sort of endurance runners and Thomas LeBlanc and people like Ross McDonald, John Alborn obviously used to be a BMF member, he's only reason he isn't because he now lives in Norway, we're not over there yet, uh, Claire Miller is a BMF member, these are all you know of the obstacle course races but also endurance athletes and they have come to me and said and to our instructors because we see how it works and they go 
you know, on hill phases, you know, our classes, the sprinting, the burpees, the squats, all that stuff that you don't really do enough of yourself creates power in the legs that will take you up over those obstacles or you know in the crawling phases of an obstacle course race for instance and it can only help it just mixes it up if you just go for a jog you're only going to use your jog muscles if you're crawling and jumping and sprinting you're using all over body muscles so it is they are great for math and events and endurance runs and obviously obstacle course races as well and that's how we then became involved five six years ago was it seven years ago and we started the major series. We never realised there was an ACR racing community. We just did our own thing. So we've never been in competition with anybody because we don't, we're happy to have everybody running around. That's what we want to do. And it's great to be part of, you know, of that scene now. And we only really got involved in it thanks to David Hellard who said, hi, do you know, we didn't even know, and Pete Reese from Muscle, we didn't even realise there was a scene. And we just did our own thing. And it's, it's great to be part of that. And certainly to take RBL with us as well. And, uh, yeah, no, so it's exciting times for BMF, for sure. Well, that leads us not quite nicely on to the actual race series. I don't, Alex, could you just chat us through some of that? I know there's seven races planned for 2016. Yeah, so we've got uh, seven events across four locations in uh, 2016, expecting 20,000 runners. Uh, we kick off um, in March, March the uh, 12th, um, at uh, our Midlands event. We go to the north uh, a week later, and then we go to the south in, uh, in April. Scotland in June and those are our events which are on sale at the moment and then we go again uh, in our autumn series um, to the North Midlands and, and South of England um, so yeah a, a bumper schedule uh, uh, for 2016 which can be really exciting. And obviously there's obstacles I know some of them are quite top secret can you share anything that people can expect to see there or be put through? Sure I think I think the event itself um, we've uh, really reinvigorated it and relaunched it um, and with that there's been a number of upgrades that um, participants will be seeing in 2016 and um, with that is uh, we have launched a series of obstacle zones um, to make uh, a greater experience of people to go through there so that will be full of sights and sounds um, smoke and various uh, noises which will kind of uh, immerse people in the themes around the obstacles, uh, military uh, sort of zones. Um, you'll be on a mission as well as on a challenge, um, and basically. And we are um, upgrading some of our obstacles within that, um, but really we're creating an experience um, that I don't think, think another event really has out there within the obstacle course racing industry. Um, which is one uh, based around a, a challenge that is uh, accessible for all people but is still very much uh, an, an experience um, but it's just going to be really really good fun for your for your friends for your family getting involved in and, and, and take away fantastic memories from and i believe you've got a major that's going to be at each event sort of setting everybody off absolutely so the, the major is uh, i guess the the, the the centerpiece of the event he commands proceedings uh, he is um, there in, in full dress with his moustache on there and he, he's there to welcome participants on site, have his photo taken with everyone, uh, compare the day, uh, making sure people get their wave times uh, and, and can enjoy the event, the event village accordingly. Um, yeah. And I believe that you can have instructors as well actually out on the course uh, giving support and guidance. Absolutely, so one of the big USPs of, um, of the World British Asian Major Series is that uh, we have over 40 uh, current or ex-serving members of the armed forces lining the course. They are the major's troops and they're there to provide encouragement, motivation, challenge, um, all the way. And as far as I'm aware, not another sort of sporting event out there that has that um, uh, around it, around the, around the course. Uh, and that really creates a real unique atmosphere, which com um, combined with the zones um, that we're creating as well, will be a really, really special, unique atmosphere. So, and it's obviously great news you've got the Royal British Legion involved, and I know you're looking to raise, is it 250,000, I think, for next year, through the events? Absolutely, we're, I mean, we're just incredibly proud to be partnering with such a fantastic cause. Um, the Royal British Legion um, and British Military Fitness have, have had a relationship for a number of years now. It's fantastic to have that across um, our major series events as well. Um, we are looking to raise £250,000 for, for, for that cause next year. Um, so yeah, anyone who uh, wants to take part, um, it would be great if they could fundraise, um, fundraise for uh, the Royal British Legion. Well great, thank you for your time today, uh, we look forward to seeing the series and we wish you all the best.
Great. I mean, you know, I'd just like to say that if you're going to start doing fitness, it's always nice, and maybe you want to do something. So in the disc, it's always good to have a goal and, and setting yourself up to come and do the major series, Royal British Legion, major series, earn a bit of money for them, fantastic cause, or for any charity, it doesn't have to be them. Um, you can set your goals, you have uh, free classes for BMF as part of the joining package. Um, so, you know, to try and get you into it, get into the swing, and sort of get yourself a little bit of uh, confidence. You know, they're obviously the top end guys who can run for miles and miles and miles, it's not a problem. But we're trying to get those people who want to start their journey either in their fitness life or in the OCR world life or in their running life. And this is a sort of a great way to gain confidence. If you can crawl through mud and run up and down hills for 10K, you can jog around a park for 15, you know. so. It's all about that experience. And if you need any more information, you know, by means come and speak to us in the parks if you see us. And also visit the website either, and all the information's there on www.britmillfit.com or British Mitch Fitness, or sort of Google the major series and it'll all be there. And just phone the office because, you know, we're here. We're not a massive, big, mega company. You know, it's Alex and I at the end of the phone. So if you have any questions, give us a bell. Brilliant. Mostly, Thank mostly you. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you put it here first, give Alex a call. <laughs> Brilliant, thanks very much for your time. Great, thank you, Paul. Thanks, Paul.